Gen Z and millennials are at the forefront of the conversations surrounding race. And according to a new survey from the youth-focused marketing company Fullscreen, 84% of respondents aged 18 to 37 said they are responsible for educating themselves when it comes to race-related issues. Those young audiences also have a clear favorite venue for information. Gen Z and millennial audiences uh, go to social media as their number one source for race-related news. From text-heavy Twitter threads to minimalistic Instagram slideshows, social media has become an accessible platform for Gen Z and millennial users looking to learn more about social issues. One account called So You Want to Talk About, that focuses on social issues from a progressive standpoint, jumped from 10,000 to 1.4 million followers since June. Beyond those newer accounts, younger audiences are also looking to their favorite influencers to drive conversations. The influencers have done a great job building trust with their audiences, therefore they had the equity to ask these audiences to make that pivot with them. That, when that happens, Did it change it, you? it's really powerful. It, it helped me understand better. You know, there's actually an NFL player, Emmanuel Acho, who has a show called Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man, where he broaches formerly taboo topics with guests. The conversational format of Acho's series highlights an important point for young audiences. As informative as social media can be, it's really just a starting point for unpacking unconscious biases and dismantling racism in society. And while social media has been used as a tool for social justice activists, it's also worth pointing out the flip side. The Anti-Defamation League notes an explosion in social media being used to radicalize white supremacists and other racists. What I'm more concerned about is what are the conversations you're having offline? Like, are you checking your friends, you know, whenever they're saying things that are racist? Are you explaining to them, you know, systemic racism? These are the important conversations that you should be having around the dinner table. Casey Mendoza, Newsy, Chicago.